Wednesdays, you get worksheets. This is a preview of the class and a little bit of writing practice if you want to or have time before the class to do that. Friday, this is the class. I'm in New Jersey, just a 20 minute train ride from New York City. That's where Jace lives, that's where I'm at. But it doesn't matter if you're watching now or another time because we designed this program so that you can use it whenever you want wherever you want, as long as you've got a computer or a smartphone or some connection to watch the program and participate. Uh, Sundays, that's when we put MP3s up for you from the songs and the conversations that are from the worksheets and from the workout. We're here to do two things. I had a great conversation about accuracy and fluency. Some people think because I use the name Fluency MC, uh, I don't care about grammar. Uh, I'm not interested in, in developing accurate uh, English. That, that, of course, is not true. Uh, fluency is so important to so many students when they feel not confident enough and they hesitate to use English. But of course, accuracy is equally important. It's about a balance, right? So our accuracy is how well we, uh, or how correctly, it's a better word, we use the grammar of English, the vocabulary of English when we speak, when we write. So that includes our pronunciation, uh, that includes things like punctuation and spelling. But fluency is what balances it. If you're so accurate but you can't naturally use it, it doesn't work. So we need to make sure you feel comfortable and get enough repetition and practice so that you are both accurate and fluent. How do I do that? Not only with rhythm and rhyme, but I use a lot. I use a lot of rhythm and rhyme music uh, based on the rhythms of English and the sounds of English, and we follow the three R's, relax, repeat, and remember. All right, moving along. Last week, I mentioned this. I want to mention it again because it's so important. Uh, job interviews, that's our especially important for this. If you're trying to practice your English for a job interview, you definitely need to feel comfortable with the language because you'll be nervous and there'll be a lot of pressure uh, for other reasons, right? So. If I go to a job interview in English, my first language, I'm nervous, right? So if it's in your second language, oh my goodness. What this means is you don't want to try to practice everything, right? Languages are big, and you, what you really want is to focus on certain structures and vocabulary that are very common, that you can easily uh, use and remember. So this is what I'm, my advice is. Think of the English language as a menu. You want to understand everything on the menu to make your choices. So understanding different vocabulary is always good. But how about what you repeat and try to use? Select the expressions that you like. So from our workouts, I choose very common language that is in American English the most common for the particular topic or function. But you can't learn all of that accurately and fluently, and you shouldn't think you need to. What you should do, in my opinion, my suggestion, is to choose. Many of them might mean the same thing. Choose the ones that are easy to say, easy to remember, and then rehearse, meaning repeat, like an actor or singer who repeats things in order to be accurate and fluent with them. Same thing with language. So that's what we're here to help you do. 